Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, how are you guys? Good. No. Good. Okay. So, today I'll be taking over the role of Sergeant at Arms, and my name is Mahesh Matra. I joined in May 2024, and uh, first of all, I would like to introduce that uh, three basic ground rules that we have. First is uh, we have to keep our phone on silent. I'll give you 10 seconds for that. I request you all not to cross talk in amongst each other. And uh, just like we all have a vision in our life, our Toastmasters also have a vision. I would like to I'd like you all to stand up and place your right palm in front of you. The mission of a Toastmaster Club. The mission of our Toastmasters Club is to provide. Is to provide. A mutually supportive, a mutually supportive, and positive learning environment. And positive learning environment in which, in which every member, every member has the opportunity, has the opportunity to develop communication, to develop communication and leadership skills, and leadership skills, which in turn, which in turn will foster, will foster self confidence and personal growth. Self -confidence and personal growth. With this, I announce the meeting as open and I would like to uh, call upon stage our President Abhishek Soni, who, is, who has done BTEC and is currently working as a Senior Product Manager at Policy Bazaar and he joined Toastmasters in February 2022. Over to you. Thank you, Mike, for the warm introduction. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Let's try it one more time and with more louder. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Abhishek and I am the president of the, of the Toastmaster, Millennium City Toastmaster and I welcome you on the 558 meeting of the, of the Toastmaster. 558 meeting. This signifies from the last 11 years, we have continuously meeting on every Sunday working on our leadership skill and communication skill to become effective leaders and better speakers. Let's move forward. La last week, our Indian ticket team has won the T20 World Cup. Let's give a big round of applause for them. <laughs> Have you also had the T20 match? Final match. Yes. yes. Can you say the moment of that? Because I have been to the ups and downs of that match. Can you say that moment? I want to know from the people. Yeah. I switched off the match when 30 runs were required. Of <laughs> 30 runs. <laughs> 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 the head called me up after 15 minutes and said, Ki, "Are you watching the match? It's gone completely crazy now." Oh, the match is still on. So, what match switches? Switch off and switch on the TV. I, I, I did not switch off the TV, but I started preparing the dinner. It was a turning point. 
Yeah, that was that was, you can say that it was a turning point. But overall the match was exciting and we have won the match. That's yes. great. Now moving forward, to for, for the touring meeting, we can look around. We have, in the normal session, we used to have the Toastmasters of the day, the session on that day for 20 minutes. Then we have the speeches. Post that we have the table topics master and then the tutorial master. If you look on the board, we don't have the speeches today. Now we are doing something exciting today. Part by today. We are giving you the chance, the entire audience, to come and speak for the next three to four minutes on any topics you want. Whatever topics you have, either it is a cricket movement, yeah, the movie you have been and watched last time, or the college life or school life. You can have the topics on your own. You will decide your topics in the impromptu spaces that we are going to do. So that you can speak. Now we are just asking you to come and speak. So just have the topics in your mind and speak on that. So that we are doing over there. And we will evaluate you based on that meeting, based on, the, on that speeches. Now let's do some warm up activity before the start of the session. <clears throat> the warm up activity I hope will energize you for the next two hours. In this warm up activity, I will say clap, you have to clap twice. If I say name, you have to take your name. And so just start with that. Clap. <laughs> name. <laughs> name. <laughs> clap. If I say clap, you have to take name. If I say name, you have to take, you have to clap. Clap. Name. Name. Clap. With more loud, I get it. I don't get it. Voice over there. So now, I didn't do that. So if I say up, take your both hands up and down. If I say name, take your name. If I say clap, clap first. Up, put your hand up, the clap, name, name, up, clap, clap, up, name, up, clap, name. Thank you everyone for your As I said, that today we have something different. And over there, we have a post of the day meeting. Going to have and it is something exciting. It is on the, the team of the Toastmaster, we are BIT 20 champion. So we can have the cricket moment back in the Toastmaster meeting and going to take to be taken by the Toastmaster balloon. Before going forward, I am looking at the board, I am finding that table topic table of the is missing out. So anyone can take the quickly you can able to take. And, and for the speech evolution, I will have the one server there. So I am holding you for that meeting. Because in the impromptu speeches, hmm? for the impromptu speeches, I will look forward to have you as a developer for the entire speeches. How many speeches are there? So it is an impromptu, and people have the choices to come for the speech. Yeah, it is an impromptu. Because in the last <laughs> we have to do backup in the last moment. Like on Friday we have backup. There are so many speeches out. Yeah, on Saturday we have the one backup at the last moment. So. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So can participate in impromptu speeches instead of the entire speech? I think so. Like, one also we can have another one as a well. brother. So for but as a entire speech. No, so many speakers. So maybe I won't be able to do full justice to each other. So I can have the two first. Uh, so maybe I can.
Mr. President. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, I am Varun Arora and I am the Toastmaster of the day today. Uh, last week, uh, we had two major milestones. Can you recall them? Yeah, we still reflected on them. Yeah. Yeah. Bang on. Yes. And other one? T20 World Cup. T20 World Cup winner. So we are the T20 World Cup winner for the second time. So today as a cricket efficient as a cricket fan, I just could not let go this moment or this opportunity to discuss this with you. So today I am here talking about the entire tournament, one of the some of the key moments and key players who actually contributed in this win and the learnings we have got from this tournament. So are you game for it? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 So first of all, let us give three cheers to our Indian team who actually made this group on behalf of 140 billion strong nation. So hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Yeah, master here, but master here. So we can have later. Yes. So let us wait for the. Master will be fine. Apple will be blue. Been a toastmaster in the past for roughly about two years. 
and then I could not pursue it forward. But then I want to bring you new lab and see how it goes this time around. So yeah, just wanting to meet new people and share the experience with everybody. Thank you. The mind mess is a little bit dash. Well, I've been at Postmaster for the last three years, and I was a former president of St. Andrew Postmaster's Club, and presently I've been in for the position of the area director of this particular area. So, come here for a visit at the same time a prospect of joining the club. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, well, it looks phenomenal to see all the faces out here. You know, guys is pretty inspired to move on in public speaking and leadership. So, we will have a great
our past president, Toastmaster Rao, on this stage. Uh, he was the president for our club for last six months. And let me share that he was the lifeline of the club during that time. So that's <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Barun, the Toastmaster of the day for the warm introduction. Hey everyone, this is Rahul. I am a senior data scientist and past president as Toastmaster of the day mentioned. But I might no longer be the president, but I am currently serving as the secretary, so I become the Today, I'm playing the role of general evaluator. As a general evaluator, I've been taking notes of everything that has happened and everything that has not happened in the session. Basically, evaluating every aspect of the meeting and meeting in general. But in this, I'm not alone. There are a set of evaluators. There are tag teams, role players, who will be supporting me in this journey. So, I would like to invite the tag team. First, I will start with the timer. Today's timer is someone who is taking the role for the very first, first time. So, let's have a big round of applause for this master. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today, I will be your timer. And I will be noting down the times for the prepare. Uh, so we have we do not have prepared speeches, but we do have impromptu speeches. So for impromptu speeches, the time allotted would be four minutes, I guess. Three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Okay. okay. Let's say uh, three minutes. So I uh, will be showing this green card for two minutes, this yellow card for two point five minutes, and then red card for three minutes. You will be given uh, thirty seconds of grace time to come finish your speech. Then for the table topics, uh, the time allotted is two minutes. So I will be showing this green card for one minute, yellow card for one minute and thirty seconds, and then red card for two minutes. You will be given thirty seconds of grace period to finish your speeches. And for the evaluations as well, we have um, for evaluation we will. Be I mean, two minutes would be given. So I will be showing this green card for, oh sorry, three minutes would be given. So I will be showing this green card for two minutes. Yellow card for two minutes and 30 seconds. And this red card for three minutes. I will be presenting my report at the end of the uh, speeches. Thank you. Master Deepika for wonderfully explaining the role of a timer. It's time to invite the second role player and the second role player is that of our counter and today's our counter is Toastmaster Barun Malik is our newest member. Let's invite Toastmaster Barun Malik. Hi, good morning everyone. So my role today as our counter with Toastmasters will incorporate counting on multiple things. So I'll be taking note of some of the crutch words that you are using. So these can include well, but, so, and you know. I'll also be you know, looking after some of the sounds that are used in, in between your sentences. These sounds can be in the form of uh, um, er, etc. And then I'll also look at some of the repeat words. These can be something that people sometimes generally use such as I, I or maybe you know, maybe you know. So these kind of things I'll be you know, incorporating. And I'll also look after some of the long pauses that are used as fillers. And towards the end of the meeting, I'll present my report uh, along, with my, along with the general evaluation report. Over to Next, we have Grammarian, and today's Grammarian is our sub Toastmaster Man. Let's have a big round of applause for the. Hi, everyone. Today, I'll be playing the role of Grammarian. As a Grammarian, my role is to uh, listen to everyone's word usage and note down any awkward use of uh, language like uh, incomplete sentences or change of direction in sentences, incorrect grammar, etc. 
and uh, I also introduce the word of the day, condominium, which means uh, an apartment building that is owned by uh, separately by the people living in, but it also has some shared areas, and uh, we can use that in, as a noun in sentence like she bought the condominium uh, which she had been renting for years. General evaluator also has one more task that is to evaluate all the evaluators. So basically, the general evaluator will have the complete control over evaluation. Now I am going to hand over the stage to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Varun, to take the meeting forward. We are the T20 World Champion. The last Saturday when we won this, it was kind of mini Diwali. Did you experience that? Yes. yes. People were out in the street, uh, drumming the Indian drum and the bowl, dancing and there were crackers all around. So in a country like us, where cricket is a religion, this win comes across very, very special. Is that it? Yes. And so And personal food. Personal too. Mm -hmm. Would you? Yes. 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 So when I say this is very very special, <laughs> there are some reasons to it. So I would like you to contribute to it. What do you think? Why it is very very special? Anyone? Once we lose the previous World Cup, it's very important to know. Absolutely bang on. We have had two heartbreak last year only. First, we were in the final of World Test Championship that we lost to Australia in June in England. World Test Championship. Yes. Then we qualified for the 50 over World Cup final in last November in 2023. And where it was played? And it was a major setback and a huge heartbreak for all of us. And we were kind of invincible during that tournament, only to lose to again to our nemesis Australia. And even our Prime Minister was there, but to his great, when everybody is great disappointment, we could not just hold on to that win. So in that sense, it was a huge relief to our, to our team, to our captain, who is our captain? And having captain in the team to three finals, finally he was able to win this final for the country. So big relief and great sense of achievement. And the last T20 World Cup, when did we win it? Any idea? 2007 under the leadership of so it's been 17, 17 years we won this again and it was our long persistent quest for ICC trophy. Any idea when did we won last ICC trophy? 2013. 2013. Which was the trophy? Champions trophy. Champions trophy. So after 11 years we hold that trophy again, ICC trophy again. So it was a special moment for everyone we were looking forward to. So anybody would like to share regarding it with this achievement? Regarding this achievement? Regarding T20. T20 World Cup. I can go. So uh, I think uh, as you said, you get a very good narrative here, sir. We had two setbacks. And particularly the ODI one was very like we were all geared up with. I remember uh, my son, uh, myself preparing for that. All the snacks and food stock, uh, the big screen was put in our uh, you know society, and uh, we were all kind of you know there. It was all it came till uh, they started crashing us, and then uh, of course 
this was uh, this was uh, and this time we were a little humble. This could have been a little bit otherwise we would carry on the end asking. We were both prepared to take it into slides and then uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, we were hopeful in the beginning when we made some good uh, progress with the match, but then uh, all, all, the, all in between, I think one of their uh, wasn't, he, he passed us again, and then we said, okay, I can't go on the next year. We said, okay, we can manage it. <laughs> but then our followers did a fantastic job. So, all in all, I think that tells us that we as an individual support, I realized that my son was this time more calm. He was taking it more in the side, he has learned in Europe that what surprise attack is. So, he has learned that, uh, you know, this happened, this is a match only. So, I think, yeah. It was a good experience and uh, we were all rejoiced when we were in that and uh, that was evident and uh, I really felt good about some of the creators because they were professional like all of us and that was their professional, they were sweating in this, so I would say that and that the career and some of them were at the peak of it, who announced their retirement on a good mood. I really felt very good about them uh, then uh, of course, you know, these series will come and go and of course we rejoice in the nation. It's a large nation, but I really felt very good about uh, those individuals who have given their life, uh, their entire career. They may have uh, chosen something else that would have been into other professions where they would have done wonders, but uh, that is what they have chosen to represent their life and they signed on for a good moment. That is satisfying end to their career, to yeah. achievement the career. Exactly. Catch made by Surya. It was, it was a, a 
catching a cup as to what we were catching a ball, something like that. Because we were at the stage that uh, we were almost lost from there when if uh, David Miller could have stayed on. Yeah, stayed on. Like just like a difference between Vicky and Jose is so small. So small. Just imagine that uh, Surya might have touched the rope and could have been in. So just to add to it, what was the winning margin? Seven runs. Had that been a six, so match would have been tied. Rather, South Africa would have won it because David Miller would have been there. Yes. And, and I also think uh, I think it was a brilliant uh, demonstration of teamwork where every single player played their part. They, like you mentioned, it was not over till it was over. So everyone put all together to ensure that we won that cup. So while Hardik Pandya was bowling with such dedication, we have focused in the line. Surya Kumar also managed to, I think that was one of the most amazing catches I have chose. So everyone really, it was, it was a classic team work and collaboration that we had a chance. So great training for all of us. I think keeping calm is also equally important, right? It was a very pressure situation. Like everybody mentioned, had that catch been dropped, it would have been maybe all enough for us, right? So keeping calm in that situation because that catch was a very tricky catch, right? So we see a lot of times that you know people do mess up these kind of situations, even if it had been a very easy catch. But keeping calm and making sure that you know he's doing everything right is also critically important. And that is something which comes with practice, right? You know. If we look at all the post-match interviews, these guys keeps on talking that okay, we have been putting in a lot of effort and you know a lot of hard work and practice just to have that calm and composure so that you know they're able to deliver when it is required the most. So that is also a critical element for success. Great, great. In that pressure situ situation and the time he was having, I think I was reading it was he had to react within 0.4 second to just throw that catch and then lash it again. Mm -hmm. So that presence of mind, that uh, uh, sense of uh, urgency that we have to do it now, it's now and never. So it actually made us the winner. Even, even during the while India was batting, even that situation when we are three down and then you know uh, how Virat Kohli is managed and you know keep the target like we can uh, you know that target was really uh, experience that matters really how to handle the situation, the situation. confidence within the newcomers as well doing how you should handle the situation and carry on your innings at the end and with uh, giving the exposures to the others to get and it was very good. Bang on, even King Kali was phenomenal and before that final, what was his highest score in the tournament? Seven. For like 24, 24, 24 with the average but of just the strike rate was little low. I mean, like everyone was criticizing him for the whole tournament. Mm -hmm. And Rohit Sharma backed him after saying that he's, he must be saving for the finals. finals. So, and he proved himself and uh, got the retirement on a good note. So true. So the man of big moment. You know, like MS Dhoni did it to us seven. He was blocked during the entire tournament. So similar thing happened with the Virat Kohli also. So in entire tournament, he did not explode as we expected him to be. But in the final, he came good. He played, he anchored the entire inning. And then youngster, especially Akshar and Bube and Hardik Pandya rallied around him. And we reached a very respectable fighting total that we could defend finally. So kudos to someone like Virat Kohli only people like his stature can do such things in such a big moment when it's a do or die situation. So very rightly said. And what about the role of Jaspreet Bhura? He was the main reason I think we won the World Cup. Throughout the tournament, how he is called, like in whenever we Rohit uh, gives a ball to Bhura and just to take the wickets or to, you know, uh, save the runs to give a middle number or something about the well. But he is doing, you know, fabulous job, you know, really it's a hats of uh, being, uh, in any situation you are in, in our 19th over, 
uh, worst start of the innings, anywhere you put in, and you will perform. So it's like uh, either you defend him and if you try to win, the loss of cricket is imminent. No. So let me share some data about Jasprit Bumrah. He bowled 178 delivery during the tournament and he conceded 124 runs only at the average of just about 4. So, uh, and he also took how many wickets? 15, 16, 15, 15 wickets, uh, which are two less than his teammate Darshti and Afghanistan bowler Fazal Farooq. Both of them took 17 wickets. But the devastating impact Umrah made on any scenario or on any match that was a pattern. So whenever he was with the ball, entire team was confident, very pumped up that something good is going to happen. And he did that. In the final what we match against Pakistan, when Pakistan again losing towards the victory, 47 runs needed in as many as balls, and he cleaned up this one. Again, brought India team back to the match again and again and again. So that was the contribution made by the Umrah, and that is why he was had just man of the series also. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So any other view on just speed Bhumra? And even uh, Virat Kohli said that we should sign Bhumra as a national treasure in his interview when he was actually facing it. So that was the impact we were missing in earlier teams. Someone like Bhumra. Uh, we are never known for a past fast bowling legend like Pasi Makram or Alan Donald or Glenn Mangra, Ambrose or Courtney Walsh. But Bumra was class apart. The one we can put panels of these bowlers and counting. Yes or no? Yes. yes. And I would also like to highlight here the role of new members in winning T20 World Cup. And one such example was Akshar Patel, who was promoted up when we lost three early wickets. We were, I think, 34 for three when Akshar Patel came. And the way he batted in his swashbuckling way, he actually took us out of that poor condition. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So this is the role assigned to every player, the new, experienced, or veteran, they playing it perfectly makes a team, a winning team. So again, congratulations to each one of you, to our cricket team for this magnificent achievement. I would now like to hear from you, you were wanting to share something, you said personally it was very important. Why it feels like personal because uh, the main character of the World Cup team uh, like who has been inspiring me for the last more than 13 years is Virat Kohli and I have been following from the, that guy in the last 12 to 13 years and watched him first playing in 2013 uh, in uh, the World Cup and he has been achieving stars. 11. 2011, I was the first, and uh, when I like got interested into this cricket field and all that, I was in 2013 when he was at the peak. When he bashed uh, the prime bowler Lasit Malinga uh, for those uh, in one over 24 runs in the second over uh, 17 runs, so I got a fan of him and uh, been following him in 2015 also. Been uh, with him in his low time when he was not able to proceed to the runs or something like that. And it felt like personal because uh, when you watch cricket uh, by a like, full heart and heart dedicated by yourself and uh, why uh, I want to highlight personal name that Virat Kohli because I've been following that guy uh, when he was in town stage and everyone was criticizing him on social media and uh, 
Are we going to take an example of Twitter or something like calling him uh, Chokli and whatever it is or something like that? It feels very bad. I think personally, like, like you are yourself a bit and you have been watching this all that you have been doing for the country for a long time and uh, just wanted him uh, to win the World Cup with some good, good achievements. And at the stage uh, when India was playing at the 30 uh, balls, 30 runs when India needed, I uploaded a story and thank you for breaking my heart India again. And uh, after that, 15 minutes I need to delete it again. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it feels like personal. And uh, been following the cricket for a long time, uh, yeah, special mention to Virat. I, I am also a huge fan of Virat Kohli. I adore and respect him a lot. He is also known as Chase Master yeah. and before that time, I mean uh, before the time when Dhoni and Yuta joined in the team, India was never known to be a chase chaser team. We almost lost mostly games by chasing. So when Yuvra, Dhoni and Virat Kohli came to the team, they started chasing huge focus and they added both these two, three youngsters in a stretch line up. So, uh, it is also a tribute to Virat Kohli. I'll take two more minutes. Uh, it will be incomplete if I do not mention the role of our captain, Rohit Sharma. Uh, you know, he was, he also played the final of uh, 2007, which you won. Yes. yes. And he, con he contributed, he made 30 odd runs while facing only 16 balls. And again, he was here, captaining India at this time. And so anything about Rohit Sharma, the captain of Indian cricket team? See, I've been also following that guy uh, since a long time. But yeah, my major priority was gradually, but after that, it was Rohit Sharma. We been following him in IPLs and uh, getting five clubs in an international league where everyone has been playing at their best not just for a franchise, but for themselves, to prove themselves in the cricket like what they are. But uh, uh, being following him, uh, when uh, the 2019 World Cup, he was the top run scorer and he uh, scored mo most centuries in that five five centuries. Centuries. And, uh, in And uh, it was a heartbreaking moment when he lost the finals and uh, watching him cry going to the dressing room gives a feeling of like some elder brother going to the dressing room and performing best for the Indian team. So yeah, that guy really deserved at least one trophy in his lifetime and all that and he also took a good note from that point of view. So, yes, please. I think it was a true test of character for the uh, as, as a team leader, he was staggered with so much pressure given that they lost six months back and uh, he's so close to his retirement. Uh, so like, you mentioned. I think it was a feather of his, uh, his cap. The other main thing is the way he backed all his players. I think Virat Kohli is the classic example when there were people who were questioning, you know, a couple of picks in the team, and he he had that foresight of how each and every team member can play a role. And uh, despite so much which happened with IPL and other things, I think that, that's where I think a character comes out to make. Uh, so, as a captain, giving that kind of supportive environment, creating that chemistry among team members is something you look for from a captain. And he was bang on the target. So, that is why huge respect for him for leading us to this World Cup victory. So, now uh, let us move on to uh, the next section, which is. Uh, speech and as we shared earlier it is going to be a promptu speech session so i am going to request any monitor here to come forward we have to have the monitor to connect the session we have to table talk everybody is Thank you. 
Well, guys, having no topic, let's uh, talk about something postmasters. So it was three years back. I was in my second year of my college. I joined postmasters. Uh, I had my first meeting. I was really inspired by the past international president, Mr. Deepak Menon. Moved forward to become the vice president of education, BPM, BPPR. Take took all the positions in the EC, becoming the president. Well, there have been a myriads of lessons that I've learned throughout my journey. I would love to share that, those journey with that particular part of with you. And there are certain lessons which you can learn from my journey and also include certain lessons I have taken from other people's journey. Well, this is a platform not to make nearly a good communicator. It is also to carve you into a great leader. And I would say becoming a communicator, good communicator, once you become a good communicator, how to battle is one when it comes to leadership. So I believe there are certain ball marks which you need to carve out when you're moving forward in this journey. With the first thing being when it comes to giving good speeches, a very good hand note is to have this particular answer writing note, which is the body. But before the body comes a great introduction, and also in the great introduction comes certain things which will take the audience into the fold. Certain quotes, any sort of experience, or any sort of jargon, which people might be confused of, but they'll get it interesting. And then moving forward to the body and the conclusion. Well, that is a perfect speech body you can ever have. But moving forward, after you become a good communicator, the most important thing that comes up is to handle impromptu situations. Well, honestly speaking, guys, at the real world scenarios, you won't have time to prepare. It's going to be always on your toes, the way I am right now. And no wonder why, at the same time, you got to also ensure that there are certain things in your life which you can always quote in your speeches. You might have seen most of the times when you're called upon the stage, especially in a platform like this, you will be giving speeches related to impossibility, turning out to a possibility, some sort of challenges that you have made into great opportunities for you, something like that. So do not follow to have those moments of your life at your fingerprints. No wonder why it will be very easy for you to go at those moments. And later on, obviously it's execution when it comes to great relation. Well, communication is just a part. Even Adolf Hitler was also a great communicator. Perhaps I believe he, I got inspired from him as far as communication is concerned. Please don't take it out of your hands. <laughs> Moving forward, I believe when it comes to execution, again, final ink is better than final memories. So whenever you are having some sort of insight that you've learned, it is very good to jot it down. Why? Because once you have written something on your paper, Trust me guys, notepad, e-devices won't help you that much. But physical paper, pen and paper, the traditional way. Once you write down something on pen and paper, it will obviously go into your memory. Trust me guys, it helps a lot. When it comes to planning, obviously looking into the minor details of the club is very important. For example, I'll give you an example, my, my club, our club was facing a financial issue. So the basic problem solving that I did was to how to make it sustainable. To make a club sustainable, you got to have a flow of members in, new members getting converted, and obviously, sustainable, strategic, and sensible frugality. The frugality cannot be done on certain things, but on things which you can be frugal in, you have to do it. And no wonder why our club became present distinguished this year itself. So these are small, small things which you can incorporate in your Toastmaster journey of not only being a communicator but also being a leader. Well, given the fact that the time has already shown me the red card, I'm not able to share a lot of things with you. But no wonder why I will be sharing a lot of insights with you guys. And for the time being, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ritwik, for your wonderful insights. I hope. Uh, this will help our president and EC members come forward. Thank you so much. So, any other volunteer, please.
Good morning, everyone. So I just follow the instruction that the media director just gave. Start with a quote, and you can always capture attention. Let's start. Life is ten percent what you make, and ninety percent how you feel. Tell me. Life is 10% what you can make, but 90% of it is how you take it. So let me explain that in a little detail. So I am a father to a son who is now I think about four years. But while he was in a stage where he was learning how to walk, I noticed something that was awe-inspiring. Let me tell you what that was. So what would happen is, when he was learning how to walk, he would take one, two, three steps, and then he would fall. He would again take one, two, three steps, and again fall. But what I noticed is every time, if I was standing behind him, and I would say. Good job. He would look at me, smile, and then start all over again. He would hold on to something. He would try to clutch on to something, but he would keep going. Now that is what made me realize that a baby who is hardly two years old still understands what motivation is and how you can keep going. Now imagine all of us are adults. So what I'm trying to get to is, when I am here, I am assuming all of you are doing the same. When I fall down, you will do that, right? You will clap and you will still ask me to keep going. Will you? Yes. yes. And that is why I I love those masters. I could not continue with it though, as long as I wanted to. Um, a little bit of back story is I was in Faridabad. I recently moved to Gurugram, and this is the first thing that I wanted to begin with again. So thank you so much, Toastmasters. I think I will thank the area director also. People like you are the ones who built this space for us, and I have always enjoyed this space. But I hope to see all of you again. Thank you. The way you explained it, that was just wonderful. For you, thoroughly enjoyed the motivation you provided. I hope everybody is with me on this. Excellent. Now it's the time for our last orator. Maybe we have two more. We can have more, please. Chandan. Thank you, Toastmaster of today, and good morning, everyone. Um, it's uh, as I said during the introduction that I moved from Delhi. I am already a member of Delhi Toastmaster Club. I am looking forward to join Clubbing uh, Gurgaon. Uh, since everyone is sharing experience of their life, I just want to share my experience, my corporate experience. On certain thing on leadership and people and so uh, and I want to throw one question before that between three things out of hundred experience image and performance how you rate between out of hundred and what do you think what is most important any one of you can you repeat the options again uh, performance Image and experience. Oh, image is 85. Image is 85. Image is 85. Yeah. That's the thing that's important. Okay. Perform. Anyone? All three are in the lane basically. Uh, if you perform, then your image and experience improve. So performances are rated out of 100 or 50 percent. And you know, eventually 45 percent is the image and rest by. Is the experience and the 
So, what I say the most important, as you said, it is important that all the three aspects are important. But the performance is the first. Because until and unless you not come off, that's just like those masks. Until and unless you not go and perform on that day, you do not get the experience. Once the experience are getting, you are becoming better and better with the time. And once you are getting better, your image of the native, native speech speaker is a prolific speaker. You can find out a huge change in the your in your images. So the performance matter because it will help you in enhancing your skill and experience. Okay. So a study says um, in a corporate life. 70% your image is important. If you have a good image, you get opportunity to perform and then you get experience. So, uh, uh, this is just a study made by one of the uh, foreign university on uh, corporate life. This is similar to us. When we work in the corporate, first we want to build an image, we want to build an image with right attitude with right mindset, with right skills. Once we have an image with our team, with our manager, we got a lot of new opportunity to uh, get those experience, to perform on those opportunities. Uh, similarly, uh, as today we are discussing on the cricket, uh, there is a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, Take away that we can um, that we all have already discussed and that applies to our corporate life and personal life also. So uh, I think we have already discussed a lot of cricket. I am not going uh, to touch all those points. Uh, so with that, I want to complete and I am looking forward to have more conversation on uh, and to join the club and we'll discuss after. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think amazing take. And I also second to it that image reaches first, then the personal life. So even in corporate, uh, if a new boss is there, so first we have one person there. If image is not good, we yeah, have side feedback. So that it is all psychological also. So great uh, uh, perspective you shared. Thank you so much, Anna. Uh, this is getting actually super hit. This impromptu yeah. speech part. People are coming up and opening up again. Please. Uh, yeah. Just share your experience. the youngsters, the Zinzis we speak of, 
they are more willing to not adjustable or adaptable in terms of you know quite if they have a free mindset of anything so it is not very uh, it is easy for them to adopt in the new culture and it is very much important in wherever you work a work culture every organization has their own kind of work cultures and if you don't adopt that work culture and you if you don't uh, you know uh, uh, adjust adequate yourself you need to uh, get you out of your comfort zone as well to take your opportunities to work on your skills as well to gain more experience to enhance your skills to grow good so i like to share my own experience uh, while i have worked in uh, before adani i have worked with uh, changed a lot of companies but working with adani uh, you know it was a very good uh, company in terms of giving you the platform to uh, work on different skills as well so i have diversified my portfolio as well while being a engineer as a civil engineer i moved my career from not only being at the side level i from the sides and uh, you know handling two five projects then i moved to ia within a dam with the same organization adopting a new challenges taking a new opportunities then i moved to overall ia of 12 businesses where i was handling overall uh, in terms of technical skills also i have that uh, you know a vision how Uh, new things is taken up, and how you uh, you know give time for any product to get into the market and to adjust and to scale out. Uh, so it was a good experience for me, and uh, you know as a, a tools master, I have been searching for six months. But uh, you know, as you mentioned, it is very you know I found it a little bit difficult as well. A uh, while uh, you know to find out. To Should also be increased in terms of you know the area wise also. So having a better visibility of that will give us a more uh, push masters and give us a better opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Operation for your leadership and giving freedom to their team members. So. this i would like to share a formula how to motivate your team to take up more responsibility so uh, it is very easy to remember uh, we have our aerial director dipik das so we will remember his last name das the formula is das actually d stand for direction you provide the direction that we are going to work in this world now so direction is there T know what is the target. A A for autonomy. Now, once you have given the direction, you give enough autonomy and freedom to chop out to team to chop out their own plans, the way they wanted to achieve this. So instead of micromanaging, you are great, giving them freedom or autonomy to take their own course. And third is support. S stand for support. See you. If things are stuck anywhere, if they lack any resources, they want something more. You provide that support to them. So, what is the formula? Das. My ancestors are very proud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do we have time to time? Time. To accommodate. Should we start? Okay. Yes. 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 So I would say it was quite a good success to introduce this new thing. Thanks to our president and I think area director yesterday. Advice about this? We actually forgot him. We were in the same meetings. <laughs> so this is the time for another impromptu speaking uh, for lesser time. So let me invite our table topic master. for today's meeting and he is postmaster vishek fan of virat kohli let us welcome good morning everyone good morning good morning and uh, today's table topic session would be little different from other table topic sessions and uh,
before what we used to do, I used to give single topic to you, and you have to speak for one to two minutes for that. But in this today's table topic session, I'll be calling two people at the same time, and I'll be giving you the topic, and it, you can mutually decide by yourself that uh, you want to speak uh, in favor of that topic or against to that, and you have to speak about uh, maximum time would be given would be two minutes, and I'll show my uh, the cards. From uh, Toastmaster the picker. Red card will be shown at one minute. Each person or? Sorry? Two minutes each person or combined? Any one, one minute each person. It's totally up to you how you stretch your speech or your words throughout your feelings. And uh, one minute for uh, your red card will be shown. Oh, sorry. Green card will be shown. 1.5 minutes. Yellow card will be shown. And two minutes uh, with a grace time, red card will be shown to you. So I'll be calling uh, upon the stage uh, from our like, uh, some. Reputed members from that, I would like to call anyone from the members who want to come, like any two members. Yes, please. Yes. <coughs>
there are a lot of distractions. Somebody's coming, your mom is asking something, somebody's sweet chatting. There are a lot of distractions that come and you cannot have the same feeling, the same vibe throughout the day, during the night or during the day. You cannot have the same feeling or the vibe which you can get the theater for watching the three hours continuous movies and eating the popcorns and nachos or whatever you want to order and eating in those three hours. So there's a reason why Netflix today is perhaps one of the biggest problems. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Amazon Prime subscriptions shoot up almost 60% in the last two years. There's a reason to that. Scale. If you need to watch one movie in a theater, you have to spend at least half of your day. I don't know how much fuel how much would you be contributing in terms of pollution just because you have stepped outside and adding to the rush and traffic over there. But, stay at home. Click off the button you got Netflix. Moreover, the plethora of options that you have. You can watch from a documentary to a comedy series to anything else that you would want. You can watch knowledge content as well. What is the point going and watching Salman Khan and then clapping and dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel it is sheer stupidity to be spending so much money and going to theatres. Given that you have options like that. You can do stone paper scissors. <laughs> so your topic is uh, which superpower is best, invisibility or flight? Yeah. 
Nemo. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Nemo. Uh, and I'm Nemo. Now we'll be getting started with the general evaluation and this is, as you might be aware, this is one of the most important sections of any Toastmasters meeting. So are you all excited for the evaluation? Yes. 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 I can give it a little bit more energy. <laughs> so are you all excited for the evaluation? Yes. yes. Thank you. So we'll be getting started. We first start with the impromptu speech evaluation. So I would request Toastmaster Bhanu to please come to the stage and share the. Very well. 
So kudos to all the speakers. So let's start with uh, our area director, Toastmaster Prithvi. So uh, he started. So he started with good eye contact. I could see he was looking around, and uh, but give, was not given a topic. So he took a topic which is relatable to all of us because we are all Toastmasters or would be Toastmasters. So that topic is very relatable. Whenever you go on and uh, you, are, you are addressing an audience, you should see that what is relatable, like what audience can relate to. It's not like that you have you are have expertise in some topic and you start talking about it, but audience don't have any air about what you are speaking. So kudos to Toastmaster Ritwik that uh, he immediately come up with the topic of Toastmasters and he uh, started speaking about his Toastmasters that he being a Toastmaster and then taking the role of area director, how he is uh, tackling the, all the challenges of being a, uh, a Toastmaster. Also, he gave us a great tip that whatever we do, we need to write on the paper, whether we are writing a speech instead of writing on electronic medium, notepad. I'll take this uh, input and my professor right till now, I used to write all my speeches on the notepad or Google Docs, but uh, you gave me a great, uh, feed, uh, great point that I should write it on the paper so that it goes into my mind also, like when you are right, that when you are writing and that goes straight into my mind. So uh, his hand gestures was great, like he was, uh, no, his hand, sorry, his hand gestures could have been more open. So I could see that it is a little bit constricted. Overall, it was a great speech. He gave three S, uh, sustainable, strategic, sensible. So it's uh, again a uh, great job forming uh, some uh, those uh, the kind of uh, words. Okay, uh, arbitration or uh, triads. Our next speaker was Samir. So he started with uh, meeting the audience, and uh, he has really good vocal modulation. So you started with the start taking the voice high, and you told a beautiful story about your son. That how he took three steps, one, two, three steps, while down, and then you were clapping, and you are expecting the same in the toast process. Really, we are the same way. Right? Whenever a new speaker comes, trying to learn the uh, nits and bits of the speaking, uh, not all audience, uh, not all speakers are expert at the beginning. They they come here, they make lots of mistakes. But still, we appreciate them, we encourage them. That's what postmasters are for. We are like we are lifting each other. We are not lifting weights. We are lifting each other. So good story and good correlation, postmasters are in. And you concluded very well uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah, so you expected all the Toastmasters to help, encourage you during those three steps, moving beyond those three steps. So great job, uh, Toastmasters Samin. Next we have uh, Toastmasters Chandan. You are you're also Toastmasters, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I can see. So Toastmasters Chandan was very smiling on this, like he was maintaining a smiling demeanor on the stage. So that's a great sign of a good speaker because uh, when you come on the stage and when you smile, smile is contagious and uh, like when you smile, people also feel like smiling with you. So that's good job. So keep smiling. And he also uh, shared one statistic that like 70% of the time your image is important. Whenever you go, your image moves before you. So that's uh, good uh, advice to all of us. But I felt that the conclusion is a little bit abrupt, so you could have concluded a little bit more. Finally, we had Amresh. And so one thing, Amresh, you started with the so. so. It's not a good thing to start with. Maybe you can have started with how are you guys or something. So this is instead of having clasped hand and starting with the so shows, a little bit of nervousness. Try to overcome that. Uh, also, you also form your sentences very well and you talk about work culture, how to success in uh, your work environment, how you uh, started learning the diverse things, you, how you diversified your portfolios and uh, you, you gave us a great advice. So overall, it was a good attempt and I must again uh, appreciate all the speakers despite having no agenda, no topic, they came on the stage and they spoke very well. So, Kudos to all the speakers. Thank you. Thank you, Dosma.
first of Hanu for wonderfully evaluating all the impromptu speeches and I must say all the impromptu speakers were really great. Now it is time to invite the table topic evaluator. I didn't actually evaluate those. Can you evaluate? Okay, so it will come later when I I'll, I'll share my report. Now uh, it is time to invite the tag team. I will first start with the Grammarian, Toastmaster Mayan. Let's invite Toastmaster Mayan. A big round of applause. So, it was a great session today, and it was a very new session. And uh, though I am nobody who used the word of the day in their speeches, so I am pretty disappointed. Uh, so I'll start with the order of speeches. The Toastmaster of the day were you were uh, you made no mistakes. Then area director uh, sir, uh, you are so experienced. You also didn't make any mistake. And then uh, Toastmaster Samir, uh, you were also correct on the grammar part. Uh, coming to Chandan, sir, you need to. Uh, be cautious of your words because uh, there were certain grammatical errors which I will uh, tell you. Since everyone sharing their experience, since everyone is sharing their experience, uh, we got a lot of new opportunities, uh, opportunities. We get a lot of new opportunities. Then discussing on the cricket instead of uh, the cricket, it should be discussing on cricket. Then. Amresh Gupta, you were also correct in your speech. Abhishek Soni, uh, you said having the, the at the end of the sentence and it wasn't complete. And you said, I have a great marriage. I have a great marriage. Uh, Varun sir, uh, Nina ma'am, no mistake. Then Smriti, no mistake. Neha and Ravi, again, no mistake. Banu sir, you said, uh, or the Google Doc, instead it should be all Google Doc and we are saying like we are similar. Thank you. That's it. Thank you Toastmaster. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Toastmaster man for, for the evaluation. Evaluation <laughs> as a gentleman, as the evaluator. Now it is time to invite the R counter. Toastmaster Varun, let's, let's have a big round of applause. Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. So, as a part of my evaluation, so we had a long list of people who came and presented on the stage. So, we are clear with me because I will be sharing a lot of facts. So, I will start off with uh, Toastmaster Mayer. So, Toastmaster Mayer, you as Sergeant of Arms and as the Grammarian, you use four crutch words and then you use eight sounds and then there were no repeat or long pauses. Toastmaster Abhishek, you had a couple of crush words and sounds words and sounds and then there were three repetitions and then two long pauses. Toastmaster Varun, you had nine crutch words and then seven sounds. There were three instances where you repeated words and then there were two couple of long pauses which you could have, you know, uh, which you can focus on improving on. Toastmaster Rahul, I noticed two crutch words and one sound and one repetition from you. Toastmaster Deepika, there were three crutch words and four sounds from your side. And Toastmaster Rhythmic, uh, one crutch word I noticed that was A, and then there were three sounds and three repetitive words. Potential Toastmaster Samir, I noticed one crutch word and uh, three sounds. And uh, Toastmaster Chandan, I noticed one crutch word and six sounds. Potential Toastmaster Amrish, I noticed 18 sounds. Uh, these sounds were in the form of A, O, and so on. And then I also noticed three crutch words. Toastmaster Abhishek, I noticed three crutch words and 12 sounds. It seems you use a uh, a lot, so maybe you can try to you know, focus on working on that. Potential Toastmaster Smriti, I noticed three instances of using a. Uh, and then potential Toastmaster Neha, I noticed one instance of one instance of using a uh, that is a crutch word, and then one sound and one repetition. Potential Toastmaster Praveen, I noticed nine crutch words and then five sounds. And uh, Toastmaster Panu, I noticed six crutch words and five sounds. That's all from my side. Thank you, Thank you Toastmaster Varun, for the detailed report.
as a our counter. Now it is time to invite our timer, Toastmaster Deepika. Okay. So this was my first time taking a role as an evaluator, and I haven't thought that timer, uh, a role of a timer could be this difficult as well. I thought it would be just taking note of name and the times, but you have to see. I mean, uh, you have to take note of the timings. You have to listen to what people are speaking, and and in that duration as well. Sometimes you can see the nervousness if you're not finishing uh, before the green flag is shown. Uh, green flag has been shown. So all of the emotion I could feel in myself, and I would be taking this role as much as I can, so that I would be improving on the screen. Okay. Uh, so first, let's go to the impromptu speech. So the time allotted would be around uh, three to four minutes. So uh, area director Ritke, you have taken uh, four minutes fifteen seconds. Uh, guest Samir, you have taken two minutes and forty-five seconds. Toastmaster Chandan, you have taken three minutes thirty-eight seconds. Guest Amrish, uh, the time taken has been three minutes and fifty-eight seconds. For the table topics. Uh, since there were two speakers, uh, I guess the timing would have uh, it was it would be a bit difficult to manage in time. But still, uh, we have to take note of the times allotted. So, Toastmaster Abhishek and Toastmaster Varun they have taken two minutes and fifty six seconds. Guest Neelam and guest uh, Toastmaster Rithik, you have taken two minutes and fifty one seconds. Guest Samir and guest Smriti, uh, Toastmaster Smriti have taken two minutes and fourteen seconds. And guess Neha and guess Ravi have taken two minutes in eight minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Master Vidya, for for the detailed report. Now, I would share my report as the general evaluator. I'll first start with the SAP. Toastmaster Mayank was serving as SAP for the very first time, and he did wonderful job. He shared the mission and the guidelines that are there for for SAP and before the start of the meeting. One recommendation is that going forward, you can memorize the mission so that and you can be creative enough to basically play around with different uh, different approaches. Now coming to the president, the presiding officer. Again, kudos to him. He is taking the role for the first time and he did wonderful job. He, even though he missed the guest introduction, so I would uh, suggest him to just be aware of uh, the steps that you have to follow. Otherwise, it was wonderfully done. And then coming to the Toastmaster of the day, a very engaging session. I believe everyone was involved. Everybody was sharing their thoughts and the the feelings, the emotions that they had with the Indian team winning. T20 World Cup second uh, twice. I mean the second time. So wonderful job done by Toastmaster of the day. One recommendation is that you can use television. You can prepare a presentation and then share the the uh, have the session. It will be more interactive and it will add up to the essence of the you know, meeting. Then coming to the impromptu speech. All these speakers did really great. I could see the the experience in Toastmaster Ritwik's speech, experience in Toastmaster Samir's speech. Even though he's not currently the Toastmaster, but I could see I was really impressed when he just got started with the speech. I would highly recommend you to get started with your journey, and you should join this club. Uh, you don't have to visit other clubs. <laughs> <laughs> It would be great if you become a member because it will actually inspire us and motivate us to basically look look uh, to your speeches and give a kind of competitive environment. I would be very happy when there are more competitors. Even though I'm not a very good speaker, but at least I have someone to basically compete with. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now coming to Toastmaster Chandan again. Uh, uh, he also did really good, and he he uh, recently shifted to Guru, right? 
you can again become the member and you are guest right to smash up this you did wonderful for a guest like for the first time coming to this stage and giving him prompt is this for more than 3 minutes it was really great member now <laughs> coming to toastmaster bhanu no suggestion or recommendations he did wonderful with the evaluation he shared up all the positives and negatives this will pros and cons of this speech and i believe all this speakers for something something from from the evaluation now coming to the table topic evaluator first of all kudos to him that he took the work at the last moment but it was too much for him and he kind of he kind of lost but I wanted to participate in table topic session because i got to get in the previous session but you had ample time to basically evaluate this because anyway so that is what is required you don't have to just become a good speaker you have to become a good listener as well you have to pay attention like let's say in the interview you, you i might shoot up the time because i have to share a lot of things here in the yeah in, in the in the in the interview you are given a question and you are not paying attention and then giving the answers it will not make sense right so the feedback for the, the table topic evaluator is to this can pay attention and then coming to the tag team i will start with the canadian again wonderfully uh, explained and shared the report one recommendation is that you don't have to call it out and share the incorrect incorrect usage what you can do that is that you can share all the incorrect correct usage throughout the session and you can call out the name when you are actually sharing good uh, good usage so you don't have to pinpoint the uh, incorrect or bad usage of english now come to our doctor no recommendation he did wonderful and i was really impressed come to timer or uh, one suggestion would be is to basically uh, raise the show the uh, cards for a longer time of duration you were showing cards and then just keeping it so it becomes difficult for the speakers to basically pay attention to the cards now yeah i'm sorry uh, we also had a wonderful session by toastmaster abhishek it was very creative and we were basically all glued to the session and it eight speakers were able to participate and they shared their their thoughts and the the whatever topic they were given they did wonderful job so a big round of applause for toastmaster <laughs> there is something interesting and unique now evaluation in general we started meeting on time so kudos to club officers toastmaster uh, abhishek the president and sir toastmaster ma'am agenda and a uh, quite a few people came late especially guest uh, a lot of guest were <laughs> late so i would suggest be on time so that we have can start on a high note a lot of people also were moving around like while the speaker is on the stage you were going uh, outside and coming inside so let's let's check that out as well and agenda was shared little bit late yesterday so i would ask the club officers to be little bit more uh, by sharing the agenda little bit early so that we can have proper thoughts 
like how the meeting will proceed. And all the club officers are requested to do support and uh, give a hand to the president. You don't have the president doesn't have to do everything. Uh, I can see a lot of uh, things were handled by Postmaster of Shay, and we are just getting started with the new uh, term. So club officers be a little bit supportive, and that is it. Over to you, Postmaster. We now we have the our new newly the new newly joined area director over here who are going to share this talk on the Millennium City Postmaster and in general regarding his experience of his running his own club and how he has achieved the club to the President Distinguished Award and moreover how his journey towards the Postmaster and till the area director. Now we welcome Postmaster Hilary. <laughs> So, as far as I will first address the problem of backouts. I'll be very honest, if I was in your place, I had a corporate job, a lot of times it will happen that just before the meeting, or maybe uh, I have already nominated myself for the role of a speaker, the VDA rolls out the agenda some days back uh, before the meeting, and then I see my name in the speaker, and then I remember, oh, I had nominated myself for the role of a speaker. It is not bad to give an impromptu speech and that is the whole essence of communication skills. You won't have preparation time every single time. So it's a small suggestion from my side. Always have two, three experiences of your life and you. I'm pretty sure everybody in your every 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 moment in your life, you'll be having certain sort of philosophy out of it. I'll give you an example. Where there is a will, there is a way. Kind of remember some moments in your life where you actually kind of experience this particular moment. There will be some sort of moments where you wanted to give up, but you still found a way. This is one philosophical lesson. Second, nothing is impossible. Impossible is a word in the full section. You'll surely have an experience in your life or like kind of around that topic. So around those physical topic, philosophical topics, it is very important that we all have certain experiences. Again, I repeat, personal experiences. Because when you speak about personal experiences, you don't have to prepare much. And I wonder why when you come on the stage, you can bend those topics in your own manner to kind of affiliate that to the theme that you have just mentioned in your speech. And it is not very much appreciated to leave out back out speeches. I'll be very honest, many a times, including my own club, maximum of the people never prepare the speeches, most of the times. It was just after they have arrived in the clubs and they were sitting in the lounges and within those 30-40 minutes they have prepared a speech. For sure, if you prepare your speech for one week and then you go on practicing in front of the mirror, taking a recording, taking some insights, nothing better than that. But in life you won't have the chance every single time. So it's very important that we have so, so certain alive experiences. As I told, personal experiences do not need any, any preparation. It is only those false experiences or when you are trying to make a story out of something, then only you need some sort of practice, practice and practice. Moving forward, I would see it's a bustling club. It's a very good club. Like I have seen many other clubs which are at the hem of extinction, but this club is to be marvelous job, a huge art of bustling club. Pretty sure I'll be very honest. This club can easily get the president distinguished club stages, and I'll ensure that. I'll be very honest. I know certain strategies how to implement that. And guess what? Club's success somewhat trickles down the individual success also. I'll give you an example. Let's say if you finish three levels in a year, you will get the triple crown. 
that is you finish level 3, level 1, level 2, level 3. If many of you people finish that, it will automatically make the club of elderly students club. Only 2-3 more members finishing L4 and L5, some of the club officers to be trained and we are there. It's that easy. You just need one conviction that will come to the club. It's a request from my side. In case you have not prepared, no worries. Just come to the club. Even give it impromptu, give it a back, give a back speech, get some feedback. I'll tell you it is not always green on the other side. Sometimes failure is also very important. Because once you come on the stage and once you discover that your impromptu speaking skills is not that bad that you were thinking back at your house on your couch thinking okay I will drop the meeting today, I will prepare, let's back out. No it is not. In case you come on the stage, trust me, only the 10 minutes or 10 seconds prior to coming on the stage, only those moments are nervous. Once you come on the stage and once you have already spoken 10 words, you automatically get, get the gym and it is not that hard. Sort of solicitation for me. And be very honest, communication is the first line and then comes leadership. And lead, once communication is done, leadership is, I won't say completely conquered, but a lot of the battle is won. So that's a feedback from my side. I'm very, very uh, optimistic about this club because we have a bustling football here and I'm pretty sure this club is going to do wonders and we'll surely work together with great cooperation. Well, love you guys out here. You have made it all possible today. I love the venue also and I love the guests coming up on the stage and being fearless and speaking out. I can tell you something. There are a lot of clubs I have seen who might not also come on the standards of this club. So again, to end up my speech, please do not clap for me, but clap for you. Thank Nidvik for highlighting the importance of taking the role and regarding the communication and the leadership role in your know, day-to-day life and your career. I can see those our group master over there. <laughs> so if you have, if you can come over there, share the talk and make the people laugh, laugh at the last of the meeting. Now welcome to master. Thank you Toastmaster uh, Abhishek for the opportunity. I actually wanted to come on time but uh, due to some issues I came. Um, so I'll start with the joke of today. Rahul recently got married and uh, he was very much, his married life was very much interfered by his in-laws. He was very fed up uh, with his in-laws. So one day, he and his wife were walking down the path and uh, although he did not want it but his mother-in-law was also accompanying them. Now two thugs came and they tried to snatch the purse from the old lady. Uh, they said, give us the purse. But that old lady was not, uh, you know, was holding tight to the purse. She was not letting it go. So those that started beating uh, Rahul's mother-in-law. Then Rahul's wife said, aren't you going to do something about it? Rahul said, no honey, I think two guys are enough. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Now I can see a lot of mishapping happening to the Rahul. Last day, <laughs> Rahul did not make it to his girlfriend now and to the his in-law. And now it's loving him more. <laughs> Sorry, Rahul. Now, going forward, first of all, I would like to thank Toastmaster the day, Toastmaster Bharat, for such an engaging session. And more I can see the people in the action in the entire meeting when we talk about the cricket. It can tell us that how the cricket is close to the everyone's heart over here. A big round of applause for Toastmaster. Feel the importance of cricket. A big and, and a big round of applause for all the people, especially the guests who come and take the speeches, the impromptu speeches, all the audience who are coming and 
understanding the importance of the Toastmaster in, even on the Sunday. A big round of applause for everyone. <laughs> the voting link has been said, everyone can vote over there so that we can give a certificate to all the person who performed well. Meanwhile, I can have the guest feedback. Members can share the QR Members can say the QR code with the, with the guests. Meanwhile, I can have the feedback with the, all the guests who are over there. So you can say the feedback of the duly meeting, how you feel. So, uh, it was a really great experience coming here in the morning. You have seen the energy of this room. You have got to see the new uh, member and also some of the experienced person that we uh, Definitely, uh, I am more looking forward to doing this today. And uh, I definitely uh, want to get benefited out of the experience that you have had. Thank you all. Okay. Now we have another guest over there. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The whole your guest. No, no, your guest. Overall, I think so. Again, I, I put my context of things because I'm seeing a few clubs. One, this is, you don't see very often people recording speeches. And I can't tell you how important this is. Absolutely. So absolutely. what happens is later on when you go, and I think you only share with the members. No, no, you can find the link will be shared on the YouTube. <laughs> and you can see the Toastmaster. Search on the YouTube. We will have the this meeting in the record and it will be, it will be on in the YouTube. Okay, great. The reason why I want to call this out is in the past, so I was a postmaster back in 18 and 19 onwards. And I used to always go back to my video and see how I have done, what is it that I can improve and what else can I add to my speech. So things like this, when you see, you know that the club is taking care of all of the smaller, finer, minor details as well. So this is amazing. Thank you so much. And yeah. In terms of the environment, wonderful. The only one feedback that I have is yes. somebody already shared that we should not be late to the meeting. People coming in halfway through the meeting, not a good experience. Especially for the members. Yeah. Yes, they take time to yeah. find the place and so on. Members should not be late. Thank you. So, I think they have one final Yeah, I am with the not. I feel like uh, coming in the halfway. We can do one thing once you hear the applause, kindly enter at that particular time. And it's a norm also in postmaster that once you hear applause from coming to the meeting, then only you need to enter the hall. So I do understand there are some contingencies that you might be late due to traffic and all. Once you hear the applause, then only enter the hall. It, it, it gives you great, uh, there is no stoppage, there is no interruption. That's the we have already informed the many viewers, especially the members. Whenever they enter the club, once at the during the time of transition, we should be there that they should get into the into the door. But the guests are unaware regarding the risk and takes hence can find a lot of disturbance. Now we have another couple of guests in the panel, the big way regarding the delivery things. Uh, even this is my very first time attending the Postmasters meeting. Uh, frankly, I'm very impressed with the whole structure. I came with a blank slate. I did not know what to expect. And uh, I, I quite like that there is a whole tag team culture so that everyone knows what they need to do. Because at the end of the day, the objective is to you know, sort of polish yourself in terms of the leadership, in terms of the communication style. So I, I see a lot of people doing that. Um, I think in general, I quite like the flow. Uh, I will come another time because I do want to see how uh, planned topics and the speakers perform. Uh, but having said that, I, I do uh, agree with the fact that if it's on time, please, like there is a time stipulated, please try and tell me time. Because I, I also got a little bit distracted with the continuous. Uh, so I can say but, okay. I, but in general, I thoroughly enjoy. I will 
will like to join this club on the next week, hopefully. And I like the uh, what you call as what's your name, sir? What? What? What speech I like the most? How we conducted on the stage, the little guy just and the big sir also. <laughs> I like his speech, and I'm totally impressed. So definitely do this. Couple of in the back. Right. I am new to this club and to Toastmaster also. So I just came to know about this club. So I got uh, suggested me to go and uh, this is the nearest club uh, which I can find. So this is uh, that is the experience and uh, no time has not been known to me. So, next time I will try to make it out. So, sir, any feedback on that? So, I think I will be the newest member of July of our audience club. Thank you. 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 So, for this session, can connect with me and the host. I think I will be something. He has shared that connect with you. Oh, you were busy yesterday, so I did not talk about that. Thank you. Thank you. Just a suggestion for the feedback. I think I can see speakers here. Maybe I don't know now we have more, uh, you know, more, you know mic, microphones that you can plug in your speaker or something. In, but uh, at times you still hold my mic crack and your voice also echo when you actually go to YouTube. So it's a platform for us to fail here and learn. So somewhat maybe it's possible if you want to try at times, you know, uh, you know by opening the microphone and then we may want to fail here in terms of hearing our voice echoing and then holding the microphone and all those things may also be something that we may want to try out. Just a suggestion. Uh, yeah, the suggestion is very well taken. Actually, we don't have to use the mic because it is a quite a small room. Yeah, I And over there, when you speak more louder, you get a more confidence. The people in front of you feel more confident that yes, the people who is standing over there is very much confident. So that's why we try to avoid the mic because more you speak louder, more you feel confidence, more your confidence get flow to the audience eyes. Now the voting link has been shared. I hope everyone has voted. Yeah, okay. So now just hand over the and for any special announcement for the late arrival, as a couple of people have pointed out. So last week Rahul, our ex-president, has pointed out that for the late comers who are coming late and taking the road, I can see a couple of people today as coming late. A late final of hundreds rupees has been will be will be done for the late arrivals. So I want I will take the need post the meeting and also the back off the people who are backing out because when you back off from the if we look in the past the two day back we have the two species prepared this species. But the people have back out, and that's why at the last moment we have started the impromptu speech conversation. And now, and also, also bring down the healthy of the meeting, healthiness of the meeting, because of the back out at the last moment. For that, also, we are also doing a fine of 100 rupees for all the speakers who are, or all the roles players who are backing out at the, after the Friday midnight, especially on the Saturday and Sunday morning. So a final hundred rupees will be given, will be done for the all the people who are backing out and the, for the late arrival, especially the role players. This is the announcement. I hope everyone will follow it from the today onwards, and we are going to receive the final at the end of the meeting. We use that for refreshments. Yeah. So that finally, for the use to get you more better this respect is next for the next meeting. I hope. We will go get more happier on that part. <laughs> now, let's have the 
certain way. Yeah. Certain ways for coming. Someone's pain is someone's happiness. <laughs> The speech, the speech we have the only three or four. I have four. The speech. No issue. Let me take it. Okay. The whole play of the play. Okay. So the so starting with the table topics. The table topics we have. Lot of people, especially from the guest and the toastmaster, I know, is like we have the Balun Malik, we have the Samir, and only more people have participated in the toastmaster. In this session, whom you think the speech going, the best table topics about those two? Any name? The people over there? Mr. Balun, the Balun Malik, and any one? We have the Balun Malik. Any other guest? The Toastmaster is big, is the person, the award goes to the Toastmaster. Now coming to the tag play. We have Gravinia Toastmaster Man, the all-founder Toastmaster Balloon, and the time on those months are repeated. Who will take the awards for so? The certificate. The balloon. Can you name it? The balloon. I think over there the most people have given opinion. The those months are repeated. The awards for so. The best evaluator, since we have only one evaluator, so but it is a fabulous job done by the Toastmaster Banu sir. He has very well evaluated all the all contacts, the accomplished people who have come over there. They have given a very well feedback. I hope they will use utilize that feedback and next time they can become a more productive speaker in the next session. Now I will invite Toastmaster Banu sir to come over there. ऑन करना वो वोटिंग मोबाइल दे दो अभिषेक अभिषेक ये मोबाइल लिखने का है ना सर Just give me 20 seconds. We have the award giving lady for the speaker and the role player. All the role player has performed very well. So they are full ready. We are we are going to take away especially from the speeches. The postmaster speech has given three learning on the three years. Thus we know what are the three years he has pointed out. He is pointed out. Postmaster is speaking his speech. Strategic, sustainable, and sensible. Sensible. Yeah, these are three learning. Thanks to three people on the floor for sharing this learning of us. Then we have the Samir. He also given a quite one decent line that we look around. Some someone has knowledge, has idea what is go on. Ten percent is what you make it, and ninety percent what you take it. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, that is the very last one. So I can find a lot of members have a huge focus and like. We are short of. Okay. So I can see a lot of uh, people going through the speeches and very much hearing it out. Now from the Chandan, the guest he has given regarding the. One line on the importance of image performance and experience. 
Someone wants to contact over there. What the learning has taken up? 70 percent of the image, I guess. Yeah, the 70 percent of the image. And the last gave the this who have given the profits culture. So the learning that he has given, can anyone say it to us? Image is the most important. Then comes uh, action and then experience. Yeah, action, experience and the adoption of culture. A lot of learning for all of us, if we turn the class, all of us are going to <laughs> Now looking forward for the role, best role player. We have the, in the role player, we have Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Guru. We have the table topics master, Toastmaster of the Sharma. We have the G, Toastmaster of the whole, and the joke master, Toastmaster of the Whom do you think the award goes to? Any idea? Toastmaster Varun Varun. But it was Table Topics Master, Toastmaster Six Sharma. Thank you. 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 Super job in the space. I can say the we have the yes the future those master Samir. We have Chandan, we have Ethwick, and we have Ames. Can anyone tell us the words of which the speaker goes to? Any name? Master Samir. Yeah, Samir. The words of which master Samir.